Hi everyone, I'm excited to tell you about a brand new toolpath that's just been released in Fusion 360. The new flat finishing strategy is designed to automate the finishing of flat regions in a more efficient way. The new flat strategy can be found in the 3D toolpaths dropdown and offers several advantages when compared with the 3D horizontal strategy. Let's zoom into this first example where you can see a raised fillet up stand that is using the current horizontal strategy. Unfortunately, the horizontal strategy incorrectly interprets the tops of some fillet areas as flat regions and attempts to machine them. Machining this could likely mark my part and lead to a lengthier toolpath to run on the machine. The new flat finishing strategy recognizes this automatically and doesn't machine the false flat on the top of the fillet, leaving you with a better surface finish and a more efficient toolpath. Focusing on the pocket area, the horizontal strategy doesn't recognize open pockets. Lengthy air cutting moves, poorly positioned lead-ins and lead-outs, and no option to start the tool from outside the pocket make for a very inefficient toolpath. The new flat finishing strategy does recognize open pockets by making better use of entry and exit positions from outside the pocket as default by reducing full width cuts and sharp changes in direction, thereby extending tool life and maintaining a more consistent cutter engagement angle for a better surface finish. A drawback of the horizontal strategy is that it doesn't support touch avoid surfaces. Flat finishing does support touch avoid surfaces and in this example, I'm using it to explicitly define a touch surface to machine. This dramatically speeds up programming time and gives more control on where you want to machine. Let's jump over to the other pocket. Here, I have a tool traversing into a pocket which has vertical fillets with the radii less than that of the tool. In the horizontal strategy, selecting the fillets option only offsets the toolpath with no fillet requiring subsequent operations to finish the sidewalls of the pocket. With the new flat finishing strategy, the fillets option now machines the sidewalls to the programmed size, but rolls around the corners to avoid over-engagement. In this last example, the horizontal strategy does not have the ability to ignore holes or small pockets. So the typical workflow with the horizontal strategy would be to use a surface patch to cap off each hole, then include them in the setup or the toolpath. This workflow is highly inefficient on parts with many holes and can even still mean the toolpath attempts to machine around the holes, leaving undesired results. Flat finishing has the option to machine over holes, to enable this, check the Machine Over Holes button and specify a size accordingly. This is the benefit of being a more efficient strategy as well as delivering a better surface finish. For more information, visit the self-paced learning section on our website at help.autodesk.com. From me, cheers.